Hey again, I love watching tour players play golf. I did a big video on Ricky Fowler, which I thought was great. But one of the players that I want to review today is one of my favorites, and it's Steve Stricker, because his golf swing is very similar to Mo Norman and the single plane swing. Let's take a look at it. So if I had to have a favorite swing on the tour, it'd be Steve Stricker. And I've said this, and I did a video probably 15 years ago about Steve swing. A lot of it has to do with the similarities of how he establishes a dress position on a single plane, but also the simplicity of the movement of his golf swing. I love simplicity. And I think it'd be very beneficial. I had, a, I had actually a, a student of mine the other day said, Todd, why don't you just teach me Steve Stricker's swing? And I'm like, you know, I kind of do. I mean, I teach Mo Norman's swing because I believe Mo is the most efficient, greatest ball striker ever because of his simplicity of the single plane. But Steve Stricker has all those elements in his swing as well. So it's almost like, it's almost interchangeable. I think Mo did some things that made the swing even easier than Steve. But let's talk about Steve's motion and what you can really gather and learn from it. The first thing is, the two lines. There's two lines that I really enjoy in his address position. The one line is simply from the face on angle when you see him at address, he's got the lead arm aligned with the club. I think that that's a big deal because, because the minute you create an angle here like this, you got a bit of a, an angle to deal with in the swing. So he creates this alignment just like Mo did with the lead arm and club at address. But then you look down the line and his hands tend to get a little low, but they're very close to being exactly on single plane. I think the way you would correct Steve a little bit is not that he needs to be corrected, obviously he's playing great golf, but I would just simply give him a little side bend, a little more side bend to get his hands up a little higher. But it's so similar because you see his hands in this kind of single plane position, very close to single plane, and the lead arm alignment and the trail arm alignment look great. So I love those things about his address position. He's a bit closer to the ball than, than Mo Norman is, so you're seeing a little more uprightness in his swing. I don't necessarily hate that too much. Um, I, I just think that, you know, he's taller than Mo, so he's probably six feet tall. Mo is a lot shorter. So, you know, I like to see a little space. As long as you got room to swing the club, I think you're in good shape. So I love that about Steve's address. Now, I think what I like about his swing most is the simplicity of his backswing. Because what you see from this, address position with Steve is you see him take the club back and you see just really simple motion to the top. It just goes to the top and look at the plane of the golf club at the top. It just sits in such a good place. And look at that club face angle. I mean, this is where you start seeing great ball striking because when you get to the top of the swing and you make this simple to the back swing and you make it very simple to top and the club face is planing and the club shaft is planing, it just makes it so easy to come down correctly. Now, when you watch him come down, you see this club comes easily down, it's shallow coming down the plane, and then he squares it up right back to where he originally started, which is my definition of single plane, is you start an impact in the same plane. And so that is what I love about a swing. And then look at his trail foot. So you see this trail foot kind of making an inward roll, again, on the ground or very close to being on the ground, so that trail foot being on the ground. Again, when you're playing correctly and you have the space coming down, the body can stay internal, not external, not lifting, not lifting up. The space allows you to stay internal and then he releases the club. I love simplicity in the golf swing. I love, I love Steve Stricker's swing. I love what he's doing and I love how simple he makes it. And the other thing I like about Steve is he's not trying to kill the golf ball, like hit it a mile. He's simply playing great golf, hits it plenty long, very consistent and he's gonna be playing great golf all the way into on the Champions Tour like he is now. Hope you're enjoying this content. Give me a bell icon, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.